Hello, my name is Jennifer Barrios. Welcome to True to You Podcast. Today, we are going to be switching it up a little bit and talking about nutrition. So, preference this video is that I have my precision nutrition certification. I am no, by no means a registered nutritionist or dietitian, so I'm not going to go into the nitty gritties of things if you want to reach out to a certified a nutritionist or a dietitian, reach out to them. I just wanted to discuss an overlying topic, even going into the field of naturopathic medicine, um, that I think is something we are starting to get better with, but I want to discuss it, and that is toxic culture of diets. And if I look down, it's because I have notes here, because I wanted to you know, the science person in me, I wanted to make sure, or if you're listening to this, you won't know, but um, I wanted to make sure that I'm getting everything right. So that being said, I'm going to read off to you what the diet, diet culture, toxic diet culture is defined as. So it's demonizing certain ways of eating, um, while elevating others, which means that you're forced to be hyper vigilant on or focusing on your eating, you're ashamed of making certain food choices and distracted from your pleasure, your purpose, and your power. And another big reason why I share this is because I've also struggled with food for so long. And uh, as you heard before, body dysmorphia, but um, the reason why I bring this up is that we wanna know what is the best diet, right? What's the best diet? What's the best diet? What can I do to help myself? Um, become the best version of myself, right? And I just want to say that um, there really is no best diet. And I think being in this field for six years, I've been up and down and trying to figure out, and sometimes even following others, but ever since, this is really weird, but ever since I've reached and tapped into God, I've realized that I've been taking a more holistic approach and trying to say, okay, how can I help everyone and what can I do for everyone? So that being said, there's different, thousands of different diets, Mediterranean, vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, and there's paleo, there's keto, and there's no perfect diet for anyone. Like there's no perfect diet, but the thing about these diets is that they all have things in common, right? To a certain extent, obviously, but they all have pretty much similar things in common, right? One is to uh, prioritize protein to a certain extent um, because we have the protein that we intake is going to help us stay full longer. It's going to help us maintain that muscle mass as we lose that body fat. Another thing is to eat more um whole foods rather than processed foods. There's a scale, if you think about it, like I said before, you want to be eating foods that nourish you and feel good for you. Um, But at the same time, getting the more whole foods in will make you feel full longer, give you the nutrients, vitamins, minerals you need. And then another one is to be um, intaking uh the proper um sorry i I messed up a little bit (laughs) but the intake of the and being aware of what you're putting into your body is what all of these different diets intake if that makes sense um and then also going back to the having it not be no perfect diet is that not everyone is going to have the same body type, the same environment, the same knowledge of nutrition, the same time. Like one person, for example, might have be a student, be working. One person might be a mom, be working. One person might just be working and have more time. And you can't compare yourself to the next person, especially when it comes to eating, because each and every one of us are different anatomically, physiologically, um, psychologically. And I just want you to know that you should not put pressure on yourself to conform to a specific way of eating that somebody else tells you to do. And even though I've seen myself do this for others and for myself, um, you need to find a way to eat for you, 
right? You need to find a way that this feels good for you. Why are you eating for you? Not why are you eating to show other people how you want to be or and you want to conform to how people see you instead of how do you see you and how do you want to portray yourself to you and that's the biggest thing that's the most important thing and that's why i'm sharing this um and i want to share with you five uh universal rules and we're gonna do a little bonus on just eating in general and if you see if you're watching this i talk with my hands a lot that's the italian in me um <laughs> but i have not mentioned that this whole time but um the five universal rules are one, number one, getting your protein in. Like I said, it's going to help you feel full. It's going to help you keep that muscle mass on while you lose your body fat. And then, like I said before, less of the processed foods, more of the whole foods to help you really get that full feeling long term. Instead of having with a lot of processed foods, it makes you feel full for a second and then after like a few hours maybe two hours you're gonna want to eat more um and you also get the vitamins and minerals and in the fiber is so important to be able to feel like your body has the energy it needs for the day um sleep is so crucial because if we're not sleeping our ghrelin is going to get increased and the leptin is going to get decreased so we're going to be craving and wanting to eat more if we're not sleeping enough we're going to be wanting to eat 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 so cr crucial sleep patterns are so important because it's going to affect your hormone levels um i've always talked about this if you don't follow me or you haven't followed me um this is something that i have i think it's been almost two years that i really have been focusing on this and this even goes to just regular energy that you give off to people and people give off to you but energy in energy out right so the energy i expend in a day is the energy i put into my body a lot of times we think that if we reduce the amount of energy that we're expending we can reduce the amount of calories calories we're expending but that's not true we want to be feeling our bodies because if we don't feel our bodies to the extent that we are doing in the day it's going to make us feel low energy. It's going to make us feel, honestly, just going to make you feel gross. And I'm sure if you're watching this, if you're listening to this, you have felt this way or if this has happened to you. It's happened to myself before. And I don't like the way it feels. And I have found this method. And with my disordered patterns around food, it's really helped me to understand, okay, I need energy in, energy out. Um, so that being said, uh, the last thing is eating mindfully. So eating mindfully is hard, especially with everything going on now. Um, but the thing is, is that what you could do at first and what everyone typically does, especially if you go and ask somebody for help, you're going to track your food. doesn't matter which way it is, you're going to track your food, especially if you are unable to um, eat mindfully so it's beneficial to track your food at first but I mean even for myself and I'm not gonna make this uh, what you should and shouldn't do um, I'm just gonna example for myself I don't don't track foods because it's easier for me to just track mindfully or eat mindfully and listen to my body and eat when my body needs food and don't eat when my body doesn't need food um, so that being said tracking at first is super important to if you don't have that ability to gain that ability to build up into eating mindfully right because it's going to make our bodies self-regulate as soon as you start eating mindfully your body's going to self-regulate and be like oh hey i need food or oh hey maybe i shouldn't be eating and that's what you want that's what our human bodies are made for we are made to self-regulate and tell ourselves when we're supposed to eat and when we're not supposed to eat. Having that mind-body connection is so important. And I, last thing is, is that if you are going to reach out for help, make sure the people that you are reaching out to, and like I said, a registered uh, dietitian, a nutritionist, um, those are the top two that I would reach out to, even naturopath, 
anyone along those lines that knows something about nutrition and are certified, doesn't matter who they are, just remember if that person is not focusing on your specific environment, your emotional support, your social support, your food preference, if they don't incorporate the foods that you like and the foods that you don't like into a process, then maybe go to somebody else because it's super important and super crucial to have somebody that understands you as a person and you as in your lifestyle and how you can reincorporate, restart, refresh into these eating habits, these eating patterns. Because if you don't do that, you are going to have short-term results instead of long-term results. Somebody that understands this and that wants you to build healthy habits and that wants you to have results long-term is not going to cut out things you like. They're not going to um, not worry about your environment, not worry about your social support, not worry about your emotional status, not worry about, okay, like what foods do you like? What foods do you not like? Um, do you have allergies? All of that kind of stuff. So if the person puts into account those, they are perfect for you. If they don't account into any of this and they're making you just cut out everything and it's just like a hardcore thing, I would say no. And I might get some hate on this. I don't mind. But no. Because you need to focus on you. And that's my thing about every single thing I post is that it's about you. It's not about the person helping you. It's about you. And if the person helping you isn't making it about you, it's a no. Because you are what matters. And sometimes it's hard for us to hear that. And I know for myself that it was hard for me to hear that at first. Because in a lot of times in society, that's not what we think matters the most. But what matters the most is you. Because at the worst, at your worst, your worst day ever, and you have this new program, if you can't follow it, you're going to give up right away. And I can't say that for everyone. Everyone is different, again. But I know that when we change habits very quickly, we don't stack our habits because I've been in the field for six years of personal training and nutrition coach, and I, I've seen it before, and I've seen it in myself, is that if you don't stack those habits and you don't focus on where you're at right now to help you slowly progress into building different habits of your eating, you're not going to want to do it. And again, my last thing is if you are going to search and find someone to help you if this is you in 2024 or on and you want to start getting healthier habits, you want to start eating healthier, you want to feel better in your body, you want to feel better in your mind, your skin, your soul. I would just say if you find someone that does any of this kind of stuff to help you, please, please, please. Put the emphasis on you. And if the person you are discussing getting a program with or getting uh, help with eating and they don't put the focus on you, and if you're watching this, I am pointing to you. If they're not putting the focus on you, that is a no. Go for you. And that is my, that is my 2024 uh, little, I guess, slogan is go for you. Because there's, it's just, you don't know what's going to happen. Go for you. Choose you. Find the healthiest version of yourself. And like I said, I am not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian. I have my certification. I can give you some tips and tricks, but they're the ones you're going to want to reach out to. But I, I wanted to come on here and I wanted to share this message because I knew it was important, especially being someone who has struggled with food and eating habits. So I hope everyone enjoyed I will see you on the next episode. I have no idea what I'm talking about yet. But if you have any ideas, please feel free to comment below. And I will talk to you soon.